flow. So, about the last handle I made, which was had this kind of part in it. Well, I did some more thinking about that handle and I understood some things which makes the last handle I made now look kind of silly. Here is the improved version of that handle. A lot slimmer profile. All right, let's let's start to explain this thing by using a little weight lever and a wheel. So what I'm claiming here is that pulley fields are actually infinite levers. Here we have a lever and with the lever you can lift this weight like so. If you think this this end would be supported, you could lift it like so. And here to do it with ropes, you would lift it like this. Right? If you lower the other side, at the same time as you lift this side, the weight does not arise. It stays at the same spot. So you are not doing lifting if you lower the other side while you lift the other. Alright? Well, if you look at this lever at this point when it's parallel to the floor and then you look at the lever you look at the pulley wheel i mean if you look at the pulley wheel if you do the same thing with it you can see that if it has the same properties as that lever we just had. But with the pulley wheel, meaning the same properties as if, if this is stable and you elevate this, the load arises. But also if you lower this side and elevate this other side, at the same time, the load stays on the same place. And if you think about this pulley wheel and this lever now, let's think you are lifting it with ropes from this end and from this end, and the load hangs here in the middle. You are basically, if this is stationary and you lift here, you are halving the weight. You are halving, dividing the weight by two. But while you lift it, the mechanics change so that here it doesn't function as a, as a lever anymore. But with the pulley wheel, if this is lifting a weight, this pulley wheel, here, you can think of this pulley wheel also as a lever. The load through this bolt is attached to the middle of the pulley wheel, similarly to the lever where the load was attached to the middle of the lever. And there you other rope, the end of the rope here, 
has a contact point on this end of the pulley wheel and the other here. Similarly to the lever where you have contact point here and a contact point here. So the, dis the difference with the pulley wheel and the lever is that you can infinitely lift it without the mechanics of it changing. Whereas with the lever, the mechanic changes when it becomes upright. It loses the function if, of it functioning as a lever. But on this middle point, it is it is identical to the pulley wheel, since it has the weight like the pulley wheel does when you have this end mounted and you pull this side. It basically is two to one pulley system. With this one also, if you have the Weight hanging on the middle. It also functions as as a two to one pulley system, but only in this limited range of motion. All right. How is this relevant to the handle we just discussed? All right. Well, here we have these two pulley wheels. And it is unfortunate that we have to have these pulley wheels. Since pulley wheels are not very inexpensive and they are kind of hard to find. I would like to get rid of these pulley wheels. And from the reasoning we just went over, which concluded I hope that I argued for it enough that a pulley wheel is an infinite lever, meaning that it 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 retains its ability to function as a lever, whereas the lever only functions as a lever as long as it is almost parallel to the floor. So, the question here is that, do we need an infinite lever? Or would we be content with having a limited range of a lever? And I would argue here that we would be very much fine with just a limited, limited range of a lever, in which case we do not need pulley wheels at all. All right, so lever it is then. And this leaves us with the very simple design from this handle that I just showed you maybe yesterday when I uploaded it. And here it is. All right, you may have questions that how in an earth, can this retain the same function as the previous two pulley wheel system? Let me demonstrate. We hook it on this pulley system. And the, of course, the wrist wrench property of it, no problem, since it's just upright. But what about the what about the rolling thunder or the spinning handle for a property of it? Like this. Look at it. Since this handle has a limited range of motion, similarly, the lever here is all right of having a limited range of motion. And since we are dealing with a limited range of motion, we do not need the pulley wheels, since pulley wheels are 
levers with the infinite range of emotion. Since they can turn and turn and turn and still retain the ability to function as a lever. So we have here a lever. This functions as a lever. Because while this pulls here to board you, this lowers it. As you can see, if I keep this handle on place, you can see that this movement cancels itself out. So in this handle at the moment are two principles which cancel itself out. First principle which cancels itself out is this property of pulling from this direction, causing a momentum to turn this way, and then pulling to the other direction, causing a momentum to turn the upper, other side around. So this, both of these chains cause a momentum to this handle, which, and the momentums are opposite to each other, which causes these momentums to cancel itself out. So the handle is stationary. The other cancelling of itself out happens with this part of the handle. Since when this is curling in, this is curling out, it means that when this is coming up, this is lowering down. This also cancels itself out. Meaning that turning this handle does not lift the weight. Like so. Which is what you want with a turning handle. Turning the handle doesn't lift the weight. You pulling the handle lifts the weight. This does not lift the weight. This lifts the weight. And these two different principles of cancelling itself out makes us this elegant design of making a spinning handle and a wrist wrench. Now, as a wrist wrench, spinning handle I mean, and now as a wrist wrench. And, there's not all, here you have your typical wrist wrench. And I'm arguing that this wrist wrench is superior even to the regular wrist wrench. And here is why. All right, here you have your typical wrist wrench. Sometimes when you are not paying attention and you have rolled this a lot like so, what can happen is this. Not good. Not good at all. This can happen that this strap slips over the edge of the handle, causing it to come loose. This is very distracting and totally unnecessary, since this does not do it. Like you can see, we got these chains here. And chains do not allow like movement to these directions. Meaning that if you have it like this, and especially if you tie these nuts tight, you make this so that they cannot turn. Like so. And now, 
This will not slip out. You cannot make this slip out of this handle. Since these chains do not allow movement to that direction. As you can see, it's impossible to this to slip out of this handle. So you do not have to pay attention to this accident happening, which makes this handle a superior wrist wrench to the regular wrist wrench. And since it's also a spinning handle on top of being a superior wrist wrench, it's just all around superior piece of equipment. Here. So, Again, and also, if this is the first video you are watching, this is also adjustable. Meaning that if you want, you can take these screws out, change this two inch handle, Change this 2 inch handle to this handle which is the rolling thunder thickness to this handle which is 3 inch thickness to this handle which is 4 inch thickness and all these are our tubes which have two holes in them you can make this yourself easy to make cause almost nothing and this at this moment doesn't cause even almost anything either. This is just a broomstick. This is just a chain. A portion of a chain. Chains, this kind of chain, the full chain was 10 euros. This is just maybe a half of that, if even that much. So you have, talking about 5 euros of materials on the chain. Handles and then a broomstick. This here is less than 10 euros, which is approximately less than 10 dollars. It's all around superior piece of equipment compared to the regular wrist wrench. And it also functions as a rolling handle. Adjustable rolling handle and adjustable wrist wrench. There is no adjustable rolling handles, there is no adjustable wrist wrenches on the market. This is all of it, and this is, this is even superior wrist wrenches, the chain. All right, I think I have made my point. So, that's it. Bye.